When I first started at Bakersfield College, it was in August 2020, and faculty were scrambling trying to support their students during the pandemic and emergency moves to remote teaching. And as the pandemic progressed, faculty needed additional ways that they could support their students. And the Humanizing Online STEM Academy helped faculty have actionable ways that they could build relationships with students, create a sense of community, so that even at a distance, students were able to not only feel like they were part of a class, but that they were a part of a campus community. As educators, we know that relationships are the heart of our work. That's why we're teachers. We care about our students and we want them to be successful. The Humanizing Online STEM Academy has had a profound impact on how faculty have been able to support our students. So the Online STEM Academy provided faculty step-by-step -step directions and inspiration on how they could leverage technologies to create really powerful interactions with their students. There are often barriers that we don't perceive as barriers. One of those things is this assumption that there should be a really rigid hierarchy between an instructor and a student. In the academy, faculty take an asynchronous course that's facilitated and those facilitators are demonstrating that warm demand or pedagogy paired with the psychologically inclusive course design and the eight humanizing elements. One of the really powerful things about the Academy is that faculty have been able to take what they've learned and apply it to their face-to-face -face teaching. And this created a, an opportunity for faculty to not only have strategies they could use in their classes, but also an avenue in which they could continue to grow each semester as they iterated on these pieces that they created, their liquid syllabus and their videos that they could work on and improve each semester. The Humanizing STEM Academy allowed me to be comfortable with being vulnerable with myself and also with my students. Just by me making that small change, it had a major impact. Last semester, I finished the semester with over 20 students in most of my classes, and normally I'm at like 10. Because they see that flexibility out the gate, then they stick around longer. And we have research from our project that shows that students in online classes that are taught by faculty who complete the academy experience high rates of belonging. And while that's true for all students, what's really exciting is that we see higher increases in belonging from the start to the end of the class among our students from racially minoritized groups. So we're moving away from social isolation and towards social inclusion. I'm interested in knowing how many of you have completed the Humanizing Online STEM Academy. Is there, okay, great. That question, do I matter here? That's a question that all of us ask. And the reason that question is so vital is because we are social creatures as humans. We crave social inclusion. So here at Bakersfield College, we have experienced a tremendous growth in our humanizing interest in our classes and making our classes more equitable. Our faculty here at BC think the student relationship is really important to success and really important to retention rates and being able to have students stay successful in their classes and then come back next semester and continue that hard work but in a humanizing environment so it's friendly and helpful and they'll be successful in their course. And at Bakersfield College, we think that's really, really important. Humanizing is vulnerability. Understanding. Cheat codes for success on both sides of the classroom. Authenticity. Being present for your students. Relationships. Putting the teacher as a human into the course instead of the teacher as a robot. is a great way to cultivate change in the online environment. When we are fans in the stand. Building community. 